Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Currently in the Water Temple, making some progress. We are in the room with the, the Water Switch and the Dragon Heads. Alright, let's kill these tech fights. Super irritating. We gotta lower the switch, because if not, we can't get across. This dragon head would be in the way. What the heck? Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't mean to do that. Let's raise the water level I try this again. Oh, I just realized something. Alright. Problem lies within how much health we have. Now usually having a lot of health is a good thing. On the other hand, I'll, I'll explain in a few minutes when we get there, or within a minute, and then I'll explain why I am concerned. Let's go back to full. Alright. Time for the mini boss of the dungeon. We just have this room with the lone tree. Door is locked. And here we face our shadow. So the concern that I have comes into play because I do believe that how much health he has is shared with how much health we have. Alright, you know... We're gonna do it this way. We're cheesing it. Because for whatever reason... You could hit... He, he doesn't swing his sword when you use the hammer. Meaning... You could just keep smacking him with the hammer. We keep repeating, we keep swinging the hammer. Okay, and then he's defeated. So, yeah, that's Dark Link. That's your shadow. And with that, we get the long shot. So now we could get things 
that we definitely couldn't before. Right? Sometimes our hookshot did not re reach certain areas. But now it can. Great, let's equip the iron boots. Now I'm sure that there are plenty of efficient ways of doing this area. Fortunately, I don't really know them. Also, this place has a lot of sliding areas, which may be a pain in the butt. Scotula there. I don't believe we need the ha I don't think we need the hammer for the rest of the the dungeon. Trying to figure out the best way to go up this thing. Can I roll when I get close? Hmm. This is the one I usually get stuck with because I don't. I always feel like I develop a strategy for getting past this area, but I never do it. Well, now ah, we're back here. Alright. Is this the bend that we need it? Nope. Here. I wonder if... Can we do this without the boots? Or do we just get sucked in? Nope, that's the way we're supposed to do it. Fairy. I could put a fairy in the bottle, but I don't think I will. Okay, so put the bow, hit the eye. Hook shot across. And we're good. And we are back in the room with the dragon. Little bit lower. There we go. Um, right now I'm. St 
starting to wonder if, like, is there a block that he needed to push earlier? For the life of me, I truly can't remember. I wonder if it's here that we need to push a block. That would make sense. Before I change the water levels again, though, I do want to... What's over here? No, this is the place where we need to push the block. Okay, I'm glad I checked this. Or it's not necessary to push a block, but we gotta pull a block. Okay. Very much, very glad I decided to do this. What? Oh, it's for afterwards. I was thinking of the wrong level. I do want to go back to the cascade room, the one with the moving blocks, because we need to get a sculpture look from there. How many are we at? Are we at two? Is this three? I think so, and then we I know where the other two are, if that's the case. So let's go all the way down, lower the water level. Might have been here that we needed to go to, yes. Shot up here once. Just go across this area. this room not quite apparent what you need to do that hit me uh got a bomb two areas what sucks is we do have to go push that block and pull that block walk all the way over to this side again and push it out I do not believe that we have enough space to pull this block out enough and be able to stand on it after.
But we do want to get that block down. Once it does, raises the water level. So we now have access to this area. Oh, it's two Tektites blocking my path. Pretty sure one is gonna knock me off. Oh, I'm glad I didn't do the... Ah! I get blasted backwards. Fort Scotula. Oh wait, no, this room has a key. I messed up the order of things. This is a locked door. Meaning I can't get the chest inside. Oh, shucks. Okay. I wonder. Could I save myself some time? Make this a warp point. Return to the warp point, spell the warp point, exit. Okay, I'm gonna save myself some time. We're gonna go back to where I needed to be. And hopefully, If I understand how to do that correctly, we'll be back there and we can finish this off. I know it's not necessarily a short time to finish. Uh, the water temple, but I think under, I don't know what, I wonder what the average time it is to complete this dungeon, assuming that no mistakes are made. I mean, I, I made, I made mistakes as you can see right here. I'm forgot to do this. So we do need to do the cycle again. Uh, we lower the water level, get it back to second level. Because second level is where we could get that key that we needed to push. Or, where that block, where that block was. Right. Moving on to second level. Ugh. One thing I don't like about this is although it shows it the staff does come up to tell you like, hey, you can play an important song here. Um if you mess up you have to exit. I think it changed the Majora's Mask. You hear that you hear that noise that tells you, oh, you could play an important song, but it doesn't um, change anything. And I believe that is our fifth Scotula token. We should be completed, or that should be completed for this dungeon. Yes, it is. All right. Now let's go back to the main area.
Okay, we have the items necessary. Shoot this eye. And with the long shot now. And even though we've got got past it or it register or the, the gate closes, it registers as we hit the target, so we just phase right through it. Now let's see, does this work? I really hope it does. Return to the warp point. Okay, not necessarily the, the place we cast it, but definitely the area that we need to be. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Like, I never use this spell. That's so good for convenience purposes. Oh, thinking about it now. Let's say we didn't mess up. Let's say we did that first cycle. I, oh, would it spawn there though? Because I was thinking, what if we cast a warp point right next to that third, third uh, water raise level? And then we could just warp back there because we do need to raise the water level again. Wait, we did get the boss key, big key right there, right? Yeah, we got the boss key. All right. Uh, I'm going to call it. We'll finish off this temple. Next episode, we should be able to finish off this temple. We're almost done with it. But yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. And until then, see you in the next one.